Hey friends, really quickly, I was getting ready to foil my September kit, but I'm gonna put out the video first of me doing the kit. So I was like, you know, let me show everybody what I'm doing. So I'm using this mink pen here. Okay, so this is the pen. It's by M Ink, really, which is Mink, and it is the black. It is basically a toner ink marker. You need to shake it up, but my I was trying to test it out because it seemed to be a little dry. Let me zoom in just a little bit. It seemed to be a little dry, so I got to pressing. So you have to kind of keep like pressing on it to get it to work so you can see kind of my lines are going to be a little inconsistent but once you get it going it's good but I have used it a lot here lately so what I like to do um, is kind of find something to kind of color in that I want to stand out in the um, design that I've chosen and see here I've just went and did the brush strokes of the flower so not sure how they're going to turn out because the ink is, again, acting a little inconsistent. But as you can see, it comes up, it comes out there. There it go. It's like you got to almost press on it. So, but I will give you another option. Um, I do my own nails, have done nails before. And you can also use the nail foil, but the adhesive that comes with that, because I was gonna buy the adhesive for the mink machine, and I realized um, that it was like the same consistency as the nail foil. So what I, I have some here, let's see. Cause this is the everything table, so it's the nail table. Um, I was looking to see if it was here, but it is clear. It's white and it goes clear. Let's see. I try to keep it close. Here it is. So this is what it looks like. So this is nail polish. We're gonna actually try this. So let's put this pen up. And then I keep a fine brush, little brush here. You can get this from an art store. This is actually a nail brush. So it's the same adhesive, so I'm just going to take a little bit. It looks like Elmer's glue. So this is another option. And I'm going to add in some brush strokes. Let's remember we put the nail adhesive on green, okay? And for nails, this needs to dry. It needs to be dry. So we're just going to test it out on some green to see how it does on green so let's just add in a little foil so by the time you see this video this kit will be in my planner um, what I'll do I'm gonna come down here and just add a little bit to the paint to see oh you know what else I'll do let's see I kind of want to put a little bit here on my no I'm gonna leave that alone um, I'll leave a picture at the end of how it looks in my planners. So yeah, so this is like nail, so it may be cheaper to buy this nail foil glue, whatever, I can't, nail foil adhesive, I think that's what it's called. So we're just making some lines here. Just some little brush strokes. So like, if you receive, I, I love foiled, um, stickers so if you receive some and you can even take this and do dots so let's get our dots together let's get our dots together so let's gonna put our dots kind of on the pink so that we know that is the nail foil so when you get stickers a lot of times and it has the little dots it's pretty much the pen that they've used Again, so for when I use this on my nails, the adhesive needs to be like transparent by then and dry. 
So, okay, that's good enough. Well, let's do, I don't know if I did brush strokes over here. Okay, let's leave that alone because I'm about to mess something up and I need to film a video. So, here I have, let me move that out of the way. This is my laminate machine. I got it off of Amazon. It comes with your slicer. It also comes with a corner thing. I'm gonna list it below. Feel free to purchase it. But I found with this laminator, I need three pieces of paper, six basically. So three on top, three on the bottom. So I have my paper right here. Oh, and let's get our foil out. So this is the foil that I'm using. I'm using the Mink foil in gold. And this is by Heidi Swap. So let's open it up. So this is my first time using this foil. I was using, it's not in front of me, another foil, which is a great idea because it only comes in small packs. So that way you don't have to worry about if you mess up, you've purchased um, a lot of foil or unnecessary foil. So Right now, I don't have a toner. Y'all, I'm trying to get this photo open. I don't have a laser printer at the moment. So this is my option. So once I get one, you know, I'll, I still gotta figure that out. So it comes like with a protective layer. You wanna just kinda take something medium sharp to get that off or sharp and we're gonna peel that off that so for this paper I'm just gonna kind of eyeball it and I'm sure I'll have some left I'm gonna use some scissors so I've kind of already marked where it needs to go these are like probably my dullest but just cut how much you think you're gonna need you will probably have a lot left over. Oops. So I'm going to place it on here like this. And I'm just going to press on it because pressure is what's going to get it on there. So I'm going to flip it over because I'm going to take off the excess because I can use the add somewhere else and I'm almost willing to bet that I could use this foil on my nails as well because I did when I first tried it I tried nail foil because I forgot I had um, some of this foil here so I tried nail foil and it got like everywhere but I'm, I'm almost positive I could use this on my nails so what you want to do is always just kind of rewrap that around so that you can use it at a later date and let's put it back. Okay, so now that we have our foil down, let's sandwich it. It's a piece of sticky paper. I like to sandwich it between three. When I first did it, I just did one piece of copy paper. Now, if you have cardstock, it probably would work best with cardstock as well. But when I first did it, it was like one in one, one on one side, one on the other, and it just got all over the paper. And I could not believe, I thought I did something wrong, but I did, I just didn't have enough paper. So you wanna make sure that that foil part is covered and it's not hanging out, because you don't want it to kinda get through to your machine. So I'm just making sure all that is covered. So you need to slide, there we go, slide that up. Everything's in there. Now we're gonna press it through and I'll probably speed this through.
Okay, so now we've taken it out. Let's see, because I really don't even know what we're going to get, y'all, to be telling you the truth. Ooh, look how pretty that is. And some of the brush strokes I made, they did come through. So if you don't want to purchase the... Let me zoom in. If you don't want to purchase, you can get, like, nail... Um, adhesive nail foil adhesive that's the nail foil adhesive there on the strokes see here when I use the pen for the strokes that didn't even pick up so but the nail foil adhesive did work so I won't be buying that pen anymore because that pen is dry like it's not even it's hardly working so that came out really pretty so I hope you guys enjoyed this quick tutorial also if I didn't mention your laminator needs to be hot you need to get it hot first let it warm up if you have a hot and cool setting just make sure it's on hot um, mine doesn't have a high or medium or just like temperature wise it just says hot and cold so let me see if i can show you it's there it is hot and cold so that's all mine says and again i will leave a link below to this laminator and that's it i hope you guys enjoyed um if you have any questions in the comment section i will do my best to answer them like i said i'm just new to foiling my stickers and um i just wanted to help somebody because i don't think it's no private and there's no secret information <laughs> so thank you all so much for watching and i will see you in my next video if you're new to my channel and this is your first time watching any of my videos please come back for more diys how to and planner related items and i will see you in my next video bye